Hey guys, PX Abuse here. Uh, as promised, I'm coming up with a tutorial every Monday, and uh, today's tutorial is how to make a text logo that looks like this. You can use it as a watermark on your background, and um, also how to create a logo such as mine. So let's get into it. So you're just going to go to File, New, 720 by 1280. That's good. And it's going to come out white, so you can just get a gradient, I mean a gray, pardon me, that you'd like. So mine that I chose is a2, 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 you can see that. And you're just going to get your paint bucket and drop that on there. That looks pretty good. So next what you're going to do is you're going to hit the Command R or Alt R depending on if you're on a Mac or PC and drag down to uh, guidelines to where you think they look good. Uh, I'm going to go with that. Zoom into a 100%. And uh, this area is where you're going to be creating your logo on it. You just actually drag this down a little bit more so I have a little more room to work now I know some people like to pen tool theirs out but I found an easier way you just use it with the rectangle tool so you can drag out a rectangle that you think looks good it doesn't really matter it's personal preference obviously um, rasterize that layer and I'm gonna make a word tut that's what I'll make so you just wanna um, rotate it until you think it looks good I'm gonna go with there and drag it on Command J to duplicate it. Zoom in a little bit. Rotate it till it's horizontal and drag it on. Uh, now, this looks a little funny because there's parts sticking out, but we're going to take care of that. You just go to your selection tool and select it, and since there's a drag line here, it'll automatically make that and you just do that to the bottom as well and it'll cut down all the parts that you don't want now this part it's a little long so what I like to do is I like to select the layer or the shape of the curve and you go to select tool and you can drag that over to where you think it looks good so that that'll look pretty good and you just go to your layer and delete and then you can go in with the eraser or the selection tool and just erase the rest of it like that. So there's your T. That looks really good, I think. So just um, shift click both your layers and command E to make it just a little bit cleaner, you know? So you want to go back to your uh, rectangle tool and drag out another rectangle. Now you want to make sure the line, uh, so you can see this line that moved, you want to line it up with the bottom of that line and let go. And again, you're going to rasterize your layer. And you want to get the same angle when you rotate it. So the angle is here. And just drag it down. And make them touch a little bit. There's good. Command J, horizontal. And drag it down. Command J. And you want to get the opposite angle going here. Actually, maybe you could even have it going like this, the same direction. Yeah, that's probably looking a lot better. I mean, what's up? it's all up to you. It's all up to personal preference, you know? Oops, that's... Uh, that will look pretty good. Actually, I'm just going to go with there. Again, you just drag it over. Same technique, you just want to command click and drag that over. Now this one, it's a little bit trickier, you want to make sure it lines up. But it's not that hard once you get the hang of it. And click delete on that. Finish cleaning it up. Now it's touching and it doesn't look that great, but it's an easy fix. So you just want to command click your T, select it, and modify, expand. Now it says expand by four pixels, but you can put whatever you want. Just don't make sh make sure it doesn't go too high, otherwise it'll expand 
too much. So four or five, maybe three is good. So you're going to do that, and then you go back to your um, layer that you want to separate and click delete. It makes a nice clean line, and it's the same angle, and it looks really good. Now, to make things easier on myself, I'm just going to duplicate the T and rotate it horizontally, or flip it horizontally. And I can just drag it. And then... And then... Rotate it till it matches. And then... Actually, you know what? I'll just make another one from scratch. It's probably going to be easier. Um, so, I mean, also, when you're doing this, it's all up to your creativity, too, what you do with the letters, because there's no real set alphabet. That's what I like about doing these. So, rasterize the layer, and I made this one a tad bit short, so I'll just drag it out with transform, and transform, so match up the angle, and again, just want to make it touch just a tad. There, that's good. And Command J. Let's get uh, and then rotate it. Whoa. So again, you're just gonna cut it down a little bit again. Same thing with the with the uh, uh, angle of the T. There we go. And then uh, once again, select. Oops. Select. Modify. Expand and go to oops, go to the layer that you want to separate it, and there. I mean, it looks really good. It's really clean. Let's clean this up a tad bit more. Oh, my bad. Mm, maybe this should be dropped down. Just a little bit because uh, at the bottom there it's kind of been cut off, but it, it doesn't matter. It's a tutorial anyway. So after you've done that, you can add a gradient or pen tool it and bring it into Cinema 4D. But I'll just add a quick uh, layer style. Now, if you've done it like I have, you're going to have little spots everywhere. And you're just going to go in the eraser tool and erase them to get rid of them. And get rid of those guides now. And there, you have your logo. Now, that's a text logo for watermarks on backgrounds and stuff. Now, if you want to make a logo like this, uh, it's basically the same thing. It's just uh, all about your creativity. Like mine, you can see the A is right there. Uh, so, I mean, it's, it's basically with the rectangle tool, you can make a triangle with that and then just erase out a circle like I've done. So, I mean, that, that was pretty easy. So, thank you guys for watching. If this helped you or you enjoyed it, please like it. And, uh, you know, maybe subscribe if you want. It's uh, up to you. And, uh, again, uh, tell me what I can improve on uh, and tutorials for next Monday. Thanks for watching, guys. It's been PX Abuse.